programa ay rated PG. Ito ay nangangailangan ng patnubay at gabay ng magulang para sa mga batang manunood. Copyright Disclaimer This video is edited by this YouTube channel under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. We do not own the copyright to this video. This video is purely for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. All rights belong to their rightful owners. No copyright infringement intended. Please help and support my YouTube channel grow by subscribing, watching, and sharing my other uploaded videos. Thank you. Watch this video from start to end and do not skip our sponsor's advertisements. 10 Rare Animals Only Found in Philippines Comprised of more than 7,000 islands in the Western Pacific, the Philippines is a home to countless endemic animals. In fact, it is home to the highest concentration of unique species per unit area in the world. So, let's have a look at such 10 rare animals that are only found in Philippines. 1. Philippine Eagle The Philippine Eagle is like no other, with its creamy white underbellies and crown like shaggy feathers. The critically endangered Philippine Eagle surely makes a regal impression. But this one-of-a-kind eagle is now in a bad position as its population is classified as critically endangered. No more than 400 adult Philippine Eagle endangered pairs remain in the wild. 2. Tarsier Prior to the development of the Philippine Tarsier and Wildlife Sanctuary, many people hunted for tarsiers. The captured world's second smallest primates were being sold, kept as pets by private individuals. Because of this, the tarsiers were declared to be specially protected faunal species of the Philippines in 1997. Hence, creating the Philippines Tarsier Sanctuary for their protection. Tarsiers are very sensitive to the point that they commit suicide when stressed. If these continue to happen, Philippine tarsiers will be endangered. 3. Tilindoc Another endangered species in the Philippines is the Balabac mouse deer, also known as Pilindoc. This rare species may only be found in Palawan, specifically in the towns of Balabac, Bugsuk, Ramos, Apulet, and Cowlet Islands. The reason for its decline is that Pilindocs are poached for food, displaced from its habitat due to conversion to agriculture, and sometimes subject to trade in living animals. If we don't protect this enough, the Pilindoc may soon be in the list of extinct animals in the Philippines. 4. Tamarod Another rare animal that can soon be among the extinct animals in the Philippines is the tamarod. It is one of the endemic species in the Philippines. The tamarod critically endangered species Philippines is only found in the province of Mindoro. It features shiny black hair, backward-facing horns, and a height no taller than a kindergartner, but has famous tempers and will readily wield their horns against intruders, a behavior called tusking. 5. Philippine Spotted Deer Philippine spotted deer is among the top 10 endangered species in the Philippines. The Philippine spotted deer, they are declining because of a limited range, habitat conversion and hunting. They are used for game or trophies, some surplus meat is sold to specialty restaurants, and some are kept as pets. 6. Baboy Damo Found across the Philippines, known locally as Baboy Damo, the four wild pig species above are endemic to the Philippines and are classified as near-threatened, vulnerable, and critically endangered species in the Philippines. The reason is, wild pigs are locally hunted for food. 7. Isarog Striped Shrew Rat Found exclusively on Mount Isarog in Camarines Sur, the Isarog Striped Shrew Rat is an earthworm eating rodent living on moist upland and in mossy forests. They have long snouts, small eyes, and needle-like incisors. This species of striped rat is considered critically endangered due to habitat loss. 8. Philippine Crocodiles This is among the rare animals in Philippines and in the world. Compared to other crocodiles, the critically endangered Philippine crocodile is smaller than usual which is around 5 feet in length and just over 30 pounds. The Philippine crocodile is usually seen as the bad livestock and man-eating animal. But in reality, what they usually eat are snails that help farmers by controlling introduced pest species in their rice fields. 9. Philippine Forest Turtle The Philippine Forest Turtle is among the critically endangered species in the Philippines, and among the 25 most endangered turtle species in the world. 
For over 80 years, its true geographic distribution in the Philippines remained a mystery until a chance discovery of one specimen in a Palawan market in the late 1980s. And finally, the rediscovery of wild populations in 2004. However, this rediscovery resulted in a negative effect because many hunted for the Philippine forest turtle for illegal wildlife trade for pets and food. Tem, Palawan Peacock Pheasant A large ground bird of forest on Palawan with a long tail and a crest. This bird has robin egg blue spots on its tail that resemble eyes and help scare away predators. Male Palawan peacock pheasants attract females by fanning out their spotted tails in an elaborate, peacock-like courtship display. Their rapid population decline is likely due to habitat loss caused by mining, logging, unregulated hunting, and illegal trapping. Rare Animals Only Found in Philippines Part 2 1. Philippine Flying Lemur Supposedly found only in Bohol and Mindanao, the Philippine flying lemur resembles a monkey with bat's wings. It has a wide head, large eyes, small ears, 34 teeth, big webbed and clawed feet, and a 12 inches tail. Its tail connects to its forelimbs via a membrane, helping it climb fast and glide distances of over 100 meters. Weighing about 1 to 1.7 kilos and measuring 14 to 17 inches long. This lemur mainly feeds on fruits, flowers, and leaves. Like the Philippine tarsier, it is nocturnal and clings to trees and foliage during the day. 2. Walden's Hornbill Walden's Hornbill is native to the Philippine islands of Panay and Negros. There are also small flocks in Zambonga del Norte, Mindanao. Excessive hunting and illegal logging have resulted in the extinction of this species in the Negros and Gamaras provinces. As a result, it has been added to the IUCN list of critically endangered species. 3. Negros Bleeding Heart Pigeon This pigeon is only found on the islands of Negros and Panay, and is on the IUCN's list of critically endangered Philippine pigeon species. They are ground feeders, which means they hunt on the ground and are easy prey for poachers, and always move in couples or flocks. The bleeding heart population is declining due to continuing deforestation, excessive hunting, and the illegal exotic pet trade. 4. Bainchurong this animal looks like a cross between a cat and a bear. And its appearance isn't even its strangest quality. What's even weirder is the creature's smell, it gives off the scent of buttered popcorn. This is the Bainchurong, an animal that's full of surprises. They belong to a family of carnivorous mammals that also include civets. The animals spend most of their time hanging out in the treetops. When they aren't lounging on branches, they're looking for yummy snacks such as insects, birds, and fruit. 5. Giant Golden Crown Flying Fox The giant golden crown flying fox also known as the golden-capped fruit bat, is a species of megabat endemic to the Philippines. It is one of the planet's largest bat species, with a wingspan up to 5 feet 6 inches long and a weight of up to 2.6 pounds. Conversely, where laws against hunting are respected and disturbance is minimized, Golden crowned flying foxes can be found in forest patches near human population centers, including along roads and on resort grounds. 6. Philippine Naked Backed Fruit Bat Also called the Philippine Bear Backed Fruit Bat, these are large bats found in the caves of Negros Island in the Philippines. They are listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. And a small population is reported to have been sighted on the island of Cebu as well. Deforestation and agricultural land clearing are the main causes of their population and habitat reduction. In the 1980s, locals cut down lowland forests in favor of sugarcane plantations, and the bats gradually disappeared afterwards. In 1996, the IUCN proclaimed that the species was extinct but revoked the classification in 2000 when a small group was sighted. 7. Samar Cobra the Samar cobra also called Peter's cobra or Philippine cobra is a highly venomous species of spitting cobra native to the Visayas and Mindanao Island groups of the Philippines. It can grow up to 1.4 meters in length. Their coloring varies from a black and yellow to green. The Samar cobra feeds mostly on small rodents such as rats and mice. They are noted for their nervous behavior and are quick to strike as well as to spray venom, which they generally aim towards the face and eyes. 8 Rare Fish Species Found in the Philippines Philippines is a country which consists around 7,641 islands. 
the country's surrounding waters reportedly have the highest level of marine biodiversity in the world. So, it's no surprise if Philippines have many rare fish species. Let's take a look at some of them. 8. Humphid Ras The Humphid Ras is an enormous coral reef fish, growing over 6 feet long with a prominent bulge on its forehead. Some of them live to be over 30 years old. They roam through coral reefs in search of hard-shelled prey such as mollusks, starfish, or crustaceans. 7. Nagamoth Shark One of the most interesting facts about this shark is it was first spotted just a few decades ago in 1976. It's a deep-water shark that's rarely seen by humans making it all the more mysterious. These sharks have rounded heads featuring huge mouths, in fact, its mouth can measure 4 feet across. The Megamoth shark swims along slowly with its tremendous mouth open sucking in small sea creatures such as plankton, shrimp, and krill. 6. Clown Frogfish Warty frogfish or clown frogfish grow up to 15 centimeters tall. Like the other members of her family, clown frogfish has a visible, extensible body and its soft skin is covered with small dermal spinules. The skin of the clown frogfish is covered with numerous small, wart-like protuberances. Its huge progressive face allows it to devour its prey size. Its color is extremely variable because it matches its living environment. 5. Ornate Eagle Ray The Ornate Eagle Ray is one of the few Eagle Ray species without a stinging barb. They are strong swimmers, known to breach several meters out of the water. The main threat to this species is the inshore demersal fisheries which operate throughout its range. Despite not being seen in large numbers, the species is conspicuous in fish markets. 4. Knife Tooth Sawfish The Knife Tooth Sawfish, also known as the Pointed Sawfish, is a species of sawfish. The sawfishes are characterized by the long, narrow, flattened rostrum or extension on their snout. This is lined with sharp transverse teeth, arranged in a way that resemble the teeth of a saw and are used for killing prey. The IUCN listed the knife tooth sawfish as endangered in its red list of threatened species. This was due to the threats of overutilization, habitat loss, and a decreasing population. 3. Pelagic Thresher These sharks are easily recognized for their long upper caudal fin lobes, which they use to stun smaller fish and squid, making them easier to catch. Although this species looks formidable, it is practically harmless and generally avoids divers and swimmers. Pelagic thresher meat is consumed in many countries, and its fins are used in the Asian shark fin trade. 2. Rower Rumsfeldi Rower Rumsfeldi is a species of marine ray finned fish, a butterflyfish belonging to the family Ketodontidae. It is the fifth known species of the genus Roa and was discovered in Anilao, Philippines in 2016. This species has vertical white and brown stripes, and has a black spine on the ventral fin contrary to the other Roa specimens. 1. Zebrafish The zebrafish is named for the five uniform, pigmented, horizontal, blue stripes on the side of the body, which are reminiscent of a zebra's stripes. The zebrafish is an important and widely used vertebrate model organism in scientific research. For example in medicine development, in particular preclinical development. It is also notable for its regenerative abilities, and has been modified by researchers to produce many transgenic strains. 7 Things You'll Only See in the Philippines 1. Hobbit House, the world's weirdest themed restaurant Established in 1973 by a former college professor and Peace Corps volunteer named Jim Turner, the Hobbit House is the only restaurant in the world entirely staffed by midgets. It once topped CNN Geo's list of world's weirdest themed restaurants. Located at MH Del Pillar Street in Ermita and now with a new branch in Boracay, the Hobbit House was inspired by Tolkien's Lord of the Rings books. The place features candlelit interiors and paintings depicting some scenes from the epic trilogy. The restaurant was also recognized in the past by iExplore.com and Lonely Planet for having the smallest waiters in the world. 2. The world's largest single bandnote. Measuring 355.6 mm by 215.9 mm, this P100,000 note is officially the world's largest legal tender note in terms of size. It was created by the Philippine government in celebration of the country's 100 years of freedom from Spain. The note, which is almost as the same size as a sheet of legal paper, was initially offered to collectors who were willing to buy it at a pre-issue price of P180,000. Only 1,000 pieces of this limited edition note were issued. 
3. The world's largest pair of shoes. This humongous pair of shoes is the world's largest, according to the Guinness Book of World Records which recognized it in 2002. It can fit in 30 people simultaneously and were painstakingly made by 10 people within 77 days. Each shoe measures 5.29 meters long, 2.37 meters wide, and 1.83 meters high. The total cost of the shoes was reportedly P2 million, big enough to buy someone several pairs of regular-sized shoes. 4. Cinerapan, the world's smallest food fish. The Cinerapan was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest commercially harvested fish. It is only found in the Philippines, endemic to Lake Buhai and Bicol River. A type of goby, the Cinerapan is characterized by a transparent body, which measures 12.5 millimeters. It is currently facing possible extinction due to overexploitation of its habitat. 5. The Sizzling Sisig Sisig is a popular Filipino dish usually prepared by chopping boiled pig's ear and liver, then serving it with chili peppers and sour liquid, usually calamansi or vinegar. The term sisig is actually a Kapampangan word, which means to snack on something sour. 6. The Tamara Declared critically endangered since 2000, the Tamara or Mindoro dwarf buffalo is the only bovine endemic to the Philippines, specifically to the island of Mindoro. Interesting fact, the Tamara is not a subspecies of the more popular Carabao. Unlike the latter, Tamara has distinct markings on its face and shorter, V-shaped horns. 7. The Jeepney Jeepneys are one of the most popular means of transportation in the Philippines. The fare is relatively cheap, but that's because jeepneys don't have air conditioners, and are always packed with too many passengers. There are also claims that the vehicle was named after Eugene the Jeep, a popular character in the Popeye cartoons. For most historians however, Jeep was first popularized in the media by Irving Red Hossman, a test driver who coined the term after he overheard some soldiers, referring to the vehicle as a Jeep. 8 Things You Only See in Philippines 1. The Jeepney Jeepneys are a mode of everyday transportation for people in the capital city of Manila and other places in the Philippines. What is interesting is that these jeepneys were made out of all the army jeeps that the US military left after World War II. From this rich and nostalgic origin, now the jeepneys are made creative, colorful and make an important source of transport, for over 20 people jam-packed at a time. As an estimate, it is said that in the capital city of Manila alone, over 55,000 jeepneys operate on a daily basis. 2. In the Philippines, they have banana-flavored ketchup. Love it or loathe it, we've all heard of ketchup. But have you ever heard of banana ketchup? A condiment unique to the Philippines, this fruity ketchup is made from sugar, spices, vinegar and banana. Even weirder than that, its natural color is yellowish-brown, but during the manufacturing process, it is dyed to make it look more like the traditional tomato ketchup that we all know and love. 3. The Tamara Declared critically endangered since 2000, the Tamara or Mindoro dwarf buffalo is the only bovine endemic to the Philippines, specifically to the island of Mindoro. The Tamara is not a subspecies of the more popular Carabao. Unlike the latter, Tamara has distinct markings on its face and shorter, V-shaped horns. 4. Christmas in the Philippines starts in September. No one celebrates Christmas better than the Filipinos. Christmas in Philippines is known worldwide for being the longest-running celebrations for Christmas in the entire world. The country is famously renowned for starting their celebrations months before. The Philippines during Christmas converts itself into a wonderland, becoming one of the biggest tourist attractions around the world to celebrate their Christmas at. Called the Burr Months, Filipinos get their Christmas spirits on at the start of September, and the celebrations run till the first Sunday of January when they celebrate the Feast of the Three Kings and end the celebrations. So, if you are a fan of the Christmas holiday and are planning to travel to the Philippines, Christmas would be the best time. 5. The Philippines is home to the planet's longest snake. The reticulated python is the longest snake in the world. It can be found in the jungles of the Philippines, as well as in other Asian countries. Usually, they will hunt small mammals and birds if they can get them, however, they are one of the only snake species to have been classified as a danger to human life. The reticulated python is one of the only snakes to prey on humans, and they are responsible for more than a handful of deaths around the world. 6. About 400 million text messages are exchanged daily here. The people of the Philippines are very social and always try to be in touch with all the important people in their lives. 
This habit of theirs has made the entire country's annual text message count jump up to a whopping 142 billion. Yes, a daily total of the messages sent by the people amounts to about 400 million. They must really love talking to one another. 7. Karaoke is a popular national activity in the Philippines. Karaoke is undoubtedly an integral part of the Philippines' culture. Filipinos are brought up surrounded by singing, it becomes a normal pastime of everyday life. If visitors come to the house, they will all sing together, or if it's a special occasion, they will enjoy singing as part of the celebrations. Regarded as a social activity, karaoke forms an integral part of the native people's daily life. You can find the karaoke machines even in the most remote and rural parts of the country. 8. The Cebu Dancing Inmates The Cebu Dancing Inmates is a collective name referring to the prisoners of Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center, whose claim to fame was their rendition of Michael Jackson's thriller video. The dance routines are actually part of their daily exercise and rehabilitation program. Interesting fact, aside from their world-renowned dancing inmates, CPDRC is also aspiring to have their own world-class boxers. At least 47 detainees, whom they called Supermax Boxing Team, have already been training to achieve that goal. 10 Strangest Things Found Only in Philippines 1. OG Rider OG Rider is one heck of a badass dog. Wearing his own helmet, which is certified, by the way, he and his owner, Gilbert Delos Reyes, would ride on a motorcycle as they travel around Manila and as far as Baguio, Ilocos, and even Boracay. 2. The Penafrancha Festival This nine-day event is held in Naga City and is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. During the festival, devotees carry a statue of the Virgin Mary on a procession through the city, and the event is marked by a series of lively and colorful celebrations, including dancing, feasting, and prayer. 3. The ATI Atahan Festival This annual festival takes place in Aklan and is considered one of the wildest and most entertaining festivals in the Philippines. Participants paint their bodies in black and dance through the streets in a colorful, frenzied celebration to honor the Santo Nino the Child Jesus. 4. This never-ending horror film series Currently produced by Regal Films, Shake, Rattle and Roll is a horror film series in the Philippines with the most number of movie installments. The first movie was released in 1984 under the now-defunct Athena Productions. 5. The World's Largest Pair of Shoes This humongous pair of shoes is the world's largest, according to the Guinness Book of World Records which recognized it in 2002. It can fit in 30 people simultaneously and were painstakingly made by 10 people within 77 days. Each shoe measures 5.29 meters long, 2.37 meters wide, and 1.83 meters high. The total cost of the shoes was reportedly $38,000, big enough to buy someone several pairs of regular-sized shoes. 6. The Kamagang Fruit This fruit is known for its black and hard exterior and is often used in traditional Philippine medicine. The Kamagang fruit is also used to make weapons, including daggers and martial arts weapons. 7. Villa Escudero's Amazing Waterfalls Restaurant Situated in the town of Tiong in Quezon Province, Villa Escudero is a resort like no other. In its restaurant, visitors are welcomed by mouth-watering Filipino dishes served in bamboo dining tables. And here comes the best part. You can enjoy your dining experience while waterfall flows in the backdrop and with crystal clear spring water running over your feet. Surely an experience you should never miss. 7. The Tamara Declared critically endangered since 2000, the Tamara or Mindoro dwarf buffalo is the only bovine endemic to the Philippines, specifically to the island of Mindoro. The Tamara is not a subspecies of the more popular Carabao. Unlike the latter, Tamara has distinct markings on its face and shorter, V-shaped horns. 8. The Bana Rice Festival this annual festival is held in honor of the rice harvest and celebrates the importance of rice to the local culture. During the festival, traditional dances and music performances take place, and the streets are filled with colorful decoration and food stalls. 9. The Rice Terraces The rice terraces of the Cordilleras are a series of towering rice paddies that have been carved into the mountainsides of northern Luzon. The terraces have been in use for over 2,000 years and are considered a remarkable feat of engineering and a testament to the ingenuity of the indigenous people who built them. 10. The Tabataya Reef This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a unique and diverse coral reef system located in the Sulu Sea. The Tabataya Reef is home to over 600 species of fish, 360 species of coral, and attracts thousands of tourists each year who come to dive and explore its stunning underwater world. 
8 Things to Know Before Visiting the Philippines 1. Keep Pocket Change This will be useful for those traveling to smaller provinces or islands where public transport is cheap and goods are bought at Sari Sari stores. It's highly unlikely for a tricycle driver to have change for a thousand peso bill or even 500, so make sure you always have at least a 50 on hand. 2. Interact with the locals. Filipinos are a happy and hospitable people. They welcome visitors with open arms and they like seeing travelers enjoy their country. So don't be afraid to ask or speak to a local, they delight in being able to help. This is also the best way to see each city for more than a bird's eye view. Show interest in where the locals go and in what they enjoy, and truly immerse yourself in the Filipino experience. 3. You'll ride around in tricycles, not taxis. Tricycles are essentially sidecars for motorbikes. They take on different forms depending on where you are but they are the common way to travel in most of the smaller towns. You'll undoubtedly ride in one at least once while visiting the Philippines. They aren't exactly comfortable so if you want to travel long distances, you're better off renting a motorbike or hiring a car with a driver. And be sure to negotiate the price before agreeing to the ride. 4. Brace yourself for the heat and humidity. This is usually the first thing that greets visitors upon stepping out the airport. It's hot, very hot, and it's humid, very humid. Note that this is very different from dry heat. Humidity makes the air thicker, making it seem harder to breathe if you're not used to it, and the temperature feels hotter than it is. Sweat also takes longer to evaporate which only adds to the heat instead of cooling you down. So keep this in mind and dress accordingly. In this weather, light and loose clothes will be your best friend. 5. Know which season your trip falls on. Being a tropical country, the Philippines only has two seasons, wet and dry. Technically, the dry season stretches from around November to May, and the rainy season, from June to October. However, the weather has been changing in recent years, so the beginning and end of either season shift slightly from year to year. It is also important to know that the country regularly experiences typhoons. So stay current on Philippine weather reports on the weeks approaching your trip. That said, another factor to consider is that the Philippines is an archipelago made up of over 7,000 islands, and the weather from island to island may vary greatly. So while a part of the country might be enduring thunderstorms, it could be bright and sunny in another. 6. Ask about local public transport. While app booked cars are highly efficient in Metro Manila, smaller provinces usually have their own public transport system. Some cities are small enough for locals to get around by tricycle, jeepney, or multicab at very economical prices. So upon arriving at a new place, ask around for the best mode of transport in that area and know the approximate cost of a trip to avoid being overcharged. 7. Each province is different. The many islands in the Philippines are divided into over 80 different provinces and it would be the biggest mistake to assume that all these islands were basically the same. Due to geography, Filipinos are historically regionalistic. It wasn't until the 19th century that people began nationalistic movements for a more united Philippines. But still today, the distinctness among provinces manifests in aspects like spoken dialects and food. So when traveling to the Philippines, make an effort to experience as many of its facets as doable, because it's a hugely diverse country that begs to be discovered. 8. Tip your servers. The Philippines is a country that provides cheap service so tipping is common practice. At restaurants, it's customary to leave 10 to 15 percent of your final bill, unless service charge is included, in which case, less is fine. The 10 percent rule also works for salons and spas. It's also common to round up a cab fare, giving a 100 peso bill for a 90 peso trip, for example. When in doubt, simply tip according to service satisfaction. While waiters, masseuses, or tour guides won't take offense in not receiving a tip, remember, those in this line of work in the Philippines generally earn minimum wage, so a little definitely goes a long way. This is why Philippines is different from the rest of the world. With over 8.2 million tourists visiting the Philippines every year, it has slowly become one of the best travel hotspots for the world. But here are 10 things that makes Philippines different from the rest of the world. 1. Christmas in the Philippines starts in September. The people of the Philippines celebrate Christmas, not just as a day but as a holiday season that starts from the month as early as September. Christmas is the longest holiday in the Philippines and the people love to start shopping. And decorations in September, the shopping bazaars and sites are crowded with people, an important practice from various of their religious customs is their night mass. That happens for nine straight days leading up to Christmas Eve. 
So, if you are a fan of the Christmas holiday and are planning to travel to the Philippines, Christmas would be the best time. 2. There are about 175 languages spoken in the Philippines. With 171 of them considered living, while four tribal dialects have no known living speakers. The country's official languages are Filipino and English, with Cebuano and Ilocano also popular in some regions. 3. Jeepneys are a popular vehicle. Jeepneys are a mode of everyday transportation for people in the capital city of Manila and other places in the Philippines. What is interesting is that these jeepneys were made out of all the army jeeps that the U.S. military left after World War II. From this rich and nostalgic origin, now the jeepneys are made creative, colorful and make an important source of transport for over 20 people jam-packed at a time. Jeeps have successfully embedded the jeepneys to be an iconic symbol for representing the culture of the Philippines. 4. Philippines has five of the largest shopping malls in the world. The people of the Philippines love shopping and the malls, and they have evidence to prove that, with just one visit to this phenomenal country, you will be able to understand how much the people of the Philippines love hanging out at the shopping malls. This explains why the country holds the record for having five of the largest shopping malls in the world. 5. Karaoke is a popular national activity. Regarded as a social activity, karaoke forms an integral part of the native people's daily life. You can find the karaoke machines even in the most remote and rural parts of the country. Though the first karaoke machine was built by a Japanese musician, it was only patented by Roberto del Rosario, a Filipino inventor back in 1975. Ever since then, this karaoke sing-along tradition has become an essential part of the Filipino lifestyle. 6. About 400 million text messages are exchanged daily here. The people of the Philippines are very social and always try to be in touch with all the important people in their lives. This habit of theirs has made the entire country's annual text message count jump up to a whopping 142 billion. Yes, a daily total of the messages sent by the people amounts to about 400 million. They must really love talking to one another. 7. The people of the Philippines are some of the most polite in the world. Filipinos are warm, fun-loving people with a great sense of humor. This paired along with a good culture and respect for all the elders makes it one of the happiest countries in the world. In the Philippines, you can see every visitor being greeted as ma'am or sir, and the children addressing them as kuyas and eights for elder brother and sister respectively. This politeness and respect span over a wide range of situations, where even when asked for help, it would be surprising to find one single Filipino saying a direct harsh no to any request you make. These guidelines are obeyed by all the citizens hence ensuring peace and harmony in the country. 8. The largest supplier of trained nurses is the Philippines. Along with being the world's largest exporter of coconuts, it also is the world's largest supplier of nurses. It is found that 25% of all the overseas nurses working in other countries are native to the Philippines. 9. The largest volcanic eruption in the last 50 years occurred here. The Philippines has also served as a spot for the world's largest volcanic eruption that took place in the past 50 years. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo on the 15th of June, 1991, was the most horrid experience in the history of time. The eruption made the volcano emit tons of volcanic ash that fell up to the Indian Ocean. The hot magma roared down the mountain to the deep valleys, making deposits of fresh volcanic deposits. As a result of this volcanic eruption, over 20,000 people had to be evacuated, and the clouds of gases released by the volcano caused a global cooling by 0.5 degrees Celsius. This incident killed 800 people and over 10,000 of the native countrymen were left homeless. This truly makes it one of the worst chapters in the history of the country. 10. Philippines has the third largest Catholic population. The Philippines have the third largest population of Catholics in the world right after Brazil and Mexico, with about 80% of their population being Roman Catholic. This religion is deeply ingrained in the daily lives of the common people of the country. In regards to this, the people in the Philippines are not allowed to take divorce, and not allowed to have gay marriages, even abortions are considered illegal. 10 Reasons Why You Should Visit Philippines 1. The Beaches The Philippines is home to some of the world's most beautiful beaches. From the white sandy shores of Boracay to the crystal clear waters of Palawan, the Philippines has a beach for every type of traveler. Whether you are looking for a secluded spot to relax and unwind, or a lively beach party scene, the Philippines has it all. 2. The Food 
Filipino cuisine is a delicious blend of Spanish, Chinese, and Malay influences. Popular dishes include lechon, adobo, and sinigang. The food in the Philippines is known for its bold and flavorful taste and is a must-try for any visitor. 3. The Scuba Diving The Philippines is a top destination for scuba diving, with its crystal-clear waters and diverse marine life. The country is home to more than 2,000 species of fish and over 400 species of coral, making it a paradise for underwater explorers. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced diver, the Philippines has something to offer. 4. The Culture The Philippines has a rich and diverse culture that is influenced by its history and its many ethnic groups. The country is home to a vibrant music and dance scene, as well as beautiful handicrafts and traditional clothing. Visitors to the Philippines can learn about the country's cultural heritage through its museums, galleries, and cultural centers. 5. The Hospitality Filipinos are known for their hospitality and warmth. Visitors to the Philippines are often greeted with smiles and offered delicious food and drink. The locals are happy to share their culture and traditions with visitors, and are always eager to help with any questions or needs. 6. The Shopping The Philippines is a great place to shop for souvenirs and gifts. From handmade crafts to locally made clothing, there is a wide variety of items to choose from. Visitors can shop for traditional handicraft, such as woven baskets and colorful fabric or for more modern items, such as jewelry and clothing. 7. The Natural Beauty The Philippines is a beautiful country with a diverse range of landscapes. From the lush green forests of Palawan to the rugged mountains of the Cordillera region, there is something for every nature lover. The country is also home to a number of protected areas and national parks, where visitors can see a wide variety of flora and fauna. 8. The Festivals the Philippines is a country that loves to celebrate, and there are festivals throughout the year. The most famous is the Sinulog Festival, held in honor of the child Jesus, which features colorful parades and street parties. Other popular festivals include the Ati Adahan Festival, the Pahias Festival, and the Mascara Festival. 9. The Adventure The Philippines is a great destination for adventure seekers. From hiking and mountain climbing to surfing and kayaking, there are plenty of activities to keep you active. The country is also home to a number of adventure parks, where visitors can try their hand at ziplining, grappling, and other exciting activities. 10. The Value for Money The Philippines is a relatively inexpensive destination, making it a great option for budget travelers. With its beautiful beaches, delicious food, and friendly locals, the Philippines offers great value for your money. Visitors can enjoy a high-quality experience without breaking the bank. Sinabi sa kanya ni Jesus, Ako ang daan, at ang katutuhanan, at ang buhay. Sino man, ay hindi makakarating sa Ama, kundi sa pamamagitan ko. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.